Hi everyone, um, my name is Maggie and I'm making this video today because I have a few shoes with my Espoir heater on the course of like five months since I've got the van, um, brand new, and um, I couldn't find any information online or in videos and it took me uh, several cold nights here in Canada before to get a hang of it and I'm hoping this video can help anyone else not have to go through what I've been through um, with all the information I've put together with what was happening to me every single time my heater stopped and I couldn't figure it out and it took days and you know Canada's pretty cold in the winter so um, hopefully you can get something out of it um, keep in mind in mind like I said that uh, this unit is pretty new so that is party heater of I've, I've been installed um, like five months ago so it's been running almost full time because it's been quite cold, but uh, it's been running only for five months. So if yours is older, um, you may need a different fix. Um, but I'm hoping what I'm going to go through with you today is going to help you figure out your problems and maybe do the next steps or for something else. Okay, so here, as you see, the ring is not flashing red, which means the heater is not functioning right now. So if you click on it, whoop, I will say H1 fuel supply or pump, okay? So I've already tried to um, reset this by clearing the code. So we're going to do a hard reset right now. So I'm going to show you, you click this. You get there and then you hold here this little button like for the menu so you're gonna hold that for like a few seconds when you on the clock but you get to the workshop and you're gonna scroll until you get to error memory and then you have each one you can and control in it you can click and then read Okay, it's a communication error. Okay. Okay. So you can try to do this again or not with how it says to me. So I know I have to do the hard reset for sure, but sometimes you can go in there and just reset it. And actually, there's a few times that I've done um, that, uh, delete it show you here each one I'm just gonna delete okay delete it so right now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read it because I know there's a communication error and um, and that can only be be fixed by doing a hard reset so now I just deleted those and I'm gonna leave it that way so whenever we access uh, the unit couldn't get restarted with um, just a, a delete of the message, the error message. Um, we will go uh, under the seat where that's where my fuse are, uh, not the breakers, the fuse are for the heater. And that's where we're gonna have to go to do hard reset because the communication problem, okay? So just come with me, I'm gonna go and... Okay, now, so we are currently under the driver's seat and that's where my fuse, so my heater are. Um, so I will show you quickly here. So you have a 20 and a 5 fuse. Um, it might be installed differently, um, depending where you are and how you put them up. Um, this is how it sh you should have a 20 and a 5. And then, so, to do a hard reset, like if you have a communication problem, you're going to have to um, remove those two. You remove the 20, you remove the 5, put them aside and wait at least 30 seconds just for the other electric system to kind of reset. Um, and then after, within 30 seconds, so I usually um, take my phone and put a timer to make sure I'm doing it in the right time. But for 30 seconds, you only have 30 seconds to put back those two fuse. Um, but what's important is you have to put them in order. So you have to put the 20 first and then the 5. And that's within 30 seconds. And then after that, that's when you're going to go back and uh, do the factory reset on your control unit. Okay? And that doesn't have to be within the, the 
reset on a control unit doesn't have to be within the 30 second. Um, another thing to um, just check, the first time I have an issue with my heater actually was because one of those wire, um, and you know the little bracket for the fuse, was actually um, hanging out a bit more here. So uh, I guess it got loose with the van moving around and you know, it was a, a new setup. So um, it got loose. So the, then the fuse wasn't in the bracket anymore, but I didn't know that until I took the fuse out. So maybe you want to check, make sure uh, that's not your problem first before going in all this problem. And you're probably going to have to do a reset anyway, if that's your problem. And you can just go and walk through um, what I explained to you over here. Okay, now I've just um, done the hard reset on the breaker. So what I need to do is actually to um, reset here. I don't know if you remember where we were earlier. Here, hold this, five second. And then now we're gonna do a factory reset. Yes. Always do a factory reset after you need to reset the breaker of US bar. Okay. So English force. You just click through those wherever you prefer. Here, um, if you want to avoid any other problems, it's very important that the control sensor show control unit and the indicator sensor also show control unit. So you want to make sure um, you show that for both. And I'm here. And one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure also I don't have... I'm going to make sure I don't have any um, error. I'm going to go here. Each one. Read. No error. Okay, perfect. Okay. Then go back. And then back again. Control unit. Read. No error. Okay, I'm good. So now, um, that should work. And for example, right now if I want it at 21 Celsius, and I like to um, keep it on infinite because I'm in Canada, it's pretty cold. So um, I click on infinite here, and I just stop it when I go on the road. And then as you see, um, the ring will light up red and you can look at it and make sure it stay red and I can hear my heater here it's starting off and um, usually it will actually start in uh, the fan quickly just kind of to assess for some reason and then uh, and then the heater will um, push on one last problem I, I want to touch base with you if you run through that. So uh, two months ago, um, I had the same problem. So um, my heater wasn't working. I did all the reset. Um, it's starting far, firing up, but then the hair that was coming out from it was cold um, and I couldn't figure it out. So I, and I didn't know what was going on because uh, I had a third of a tank of fuel uh, and that's before I knew everything I know now, <laughs> so I eventually drove away from my camping spot and uh, with the intent to go in the fuel up and I ran out of fuel on the highway and so when I got towed back to fuel my, my van, I put in 95 liter of diesel, so um, I was completely dry of fuel and that's why my heater wasn't working, but my gauge was um, showing me a third of fuel so what I've gathered from the people too is that maybe when the heater as per heater take fuel from from the tank uh, it doesn't actually always um, show on your gauge so that fuel that I thought I had actually wasn't there for some reason so definitely like the heater pump like it wasn't reaching because it do not go all the way into the bottom of the tank the diesel tank to get that um fuel to fire up the the heater so 
Um, so then if there wasn't enough fuel for that, then of course the air, uh, there was no diesel to warm up in um, getting fired up and getting hot. So um, that was what happened to me. I also have someone else I know that had kind of the same issue, but then they realized that they had an issue, either they had a leak um, in the pump when they install it. So then again, um, there wasn't any fuel for them going over there. So you made me want to make sure you're full of fuel. Um, and now I keep my tank half full um, in the winter for sure, just because in the time that I'm using the heater, um, I just don't really know what my gauge or tank is going to be doing. Um, and so if that you do all those steps and you're still having issues, um, then you're going to have to either go under the van and look at your fuel pump and if you have a leak and things like that and may have to replace that. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to go to any of that, so I can't show you how to do any of that right now. But um, for me, what my was my last option and I didn't have to go through that. So do all this. You should get through it if you're heater is pretty new um that's some of the issue you might run into and i hope that you figure it out and if you have any question please um don't hesitate to ask me um and i'll try to help you my best